All right. You know what? It's my birthday. So let's do a new fucking intro video. Why not? First of all, you will never see me wear these. Okay, almost never. Why? Because of the fucking glare. So, yes, I wear glasses. No, I can't see very well right now. And I have notes behind me that I'm going to be doing like this and glancing. So if I look like I'm looking off camera, I absolutely am. Okay. Well, hi. 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 Hello. How do you do? I'm Aradia Nawari, and I'm your resident witch and creatrix over here at Aradia's Hand and Danae's Divine. And welcome to one of my YouTube channels and Patreon. Um, I thought that it was high time that I did a new fucking video because... I think the first one was janky. Like, I, I gotta be honest with you. I hated it the minute I put it up. Unwilling to edit anything, because that's how I roll. And just said, we're just doing it later. Fuck it. So, uh, I've literally got this little notepad up on my computer. It's like, here's some tips for your intro video. And I'm like, we're just gonna fucking go with it. That sounds cool. And I got my page open because I have to, like, remember shit can't remember. So this video is probably going to be longer than I mean it to be. You know, it's supposed to be short and sweet. Um, we're just going to call this a crash course into watching my videos. Nothing I do is short and sweet. Everything is, in fact, entirely too fucking long. But that's why you're here, because it's amusing to you. At least it's amusing to me. And if it's if it's not, why are you, doing, why are you here? Like, why are you here? What are you doing here? Go away. Shoot. Be gone, foul fiend. Uh, I've, I've watched too much Good Omens. Like, really. Um, so, okay. Here's here's the deal. This is for Patreon. I'm going to put this on my YouTube because a lot of my videos that are on YouTube are on Patreon. <sighs> so, Patreon is just a platform that lets you give me money every month. Um, they used to have some other, like, options, but I do monthly because it's just easier. And then I give you access to all these videos. Now, when I started... Uh, all of my videos were behind a paywall, and I had a tier as low as a dollar, which honestly is a joke, like seriously. So I got rid of it. That one, by the way, was called Nosh, and it was just all of my weekly videos. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, only those days. Not Saturday. We do Saturday videos around here, but they're special next year. So that's that whole thing. Sometime, not last year, maybe it was the year before. I don't, I don't know. Like time is a blur and I can't even keep track of like my orientation to time and space like on a day right now. So if I get lost, that's a thing. Super fun. Train of thought goes into the tunnel and then I'm just like, what was I saying? I'm saying words, wasn't I? That happens a lot. So yeah, th again, crash course to watching my videos. Hooray. Mm. Anyway. Um, shit. There it goes. It's gone now. Damn it. Okay, how it works. I think that's somewhere where I was. Anyway. Um, oh, I've got three tiers right now. I had, I think, five or six. Um, and I just decided... The, the, the upper ones, I was like, yeah, just, just like work that I don't want to do. So, because I love food and I'm a bit of a foodie, despite the fact that I'm very particular and there's like a whole segment of foods that I don't like. Fun fact, my sense of taste and smell are jacked up, like really badly. There's a lot of things that I can't smell or taste, <laughs> which means the fact that I work with herbs and like make sense and I'm actually like a decent cook it's like really fucking weird because I can't smell certain things most of them are really awful things um but you know I digress anyway so I did something and I just decided you know what all of my weekly videos they're really short they're usually 15 minutes or less and they're kind of innocuous so I'm just gonna make them all free I'm gonna get rid of the tier unpublish it and all that stuff is free. So anything that you want that's patron only, it's going to be all of my monthly stuff. So Kaylin's Cast, which is the first of the month. Studio Share, first Saturday. Uh, the Ask Me Anything, last Saturday. 
The last day of the month is the Bujo setup, as in bullet journal, you know, when I actually do it. And then our lunar cast, our Sabbath cast, and our Kelpla cast, because yeah. And then all the, and then random, like, walnuts. Potluck posts. That's what I call them. Yeah. Woo! Uh, which is just random shit. Random shit. Like, just, I, I needed something for the day, and it's, we're going to talk about this. And it could be all kinds of stuff. Now, a little note about the lunar cast is originally... They were for the next tier up, which is, as it happens, the hors d'oeuvres. Uh, it was just $5 a month. That was all of those monthly ones. Well, I took it and I divided the lunar cast up because they were actually intended to be for the next tier and the tier after that. And I decided to remember that, you know, after almost a year of doing this. Because, good job. Just swell. So, yeah. The first one is 11 Z's, because fucking nerd, okay? Like, really. I'm not that kind of nerd, though. Like, I say nerd, and people, like, immediately think of, like, sci-fi and fantasy fandoms, like Star Wars and Star Trek and Doctor Who and Lord of the Rings and Dungeons and & Dragons and all that. Yeah, I'm not that kind of nerd. I'm, like, a science art nerd, and not, like, an art history nerd. I give two shits about art history. I just know about a bunch of random unnecessary things about textiles. That's that's what I know. And I'm a word nerd. I love words. Which you'll see me use like random ass archaic words that nobody fucking uses. And it's, you know, while I may sound like a pretentious ass, it's not that. I just really love words. I did used to read dictionaries when I was younger. Because nerd. Like really. Yeah, I actually used to get patted down when I went to, like, first, it was it second and third grade or so? Yeah, first or second, second and third. Anyway, I don't know, so long ago. Because I would bring encyclopedias to school and get into trouble because I'd rather read them than do, like, anything that we were doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the level we're talking about right now. Yeah, it's really fun trying to pronounce uh, muscles, which are layered and so you've got obscure like lines pointing to different parts of the body and it's all like in fucking latin or whatever or whatever so yeah the 11 z's tier anyway <laughs> any fucking way is the first lunar cast which is also when i do some of my community work so a little thing about that i used to do this community work it used to do it was every month it's on the full moon i do a road opening and uncrossing because um and it's you know it's like adjacent to blessing work it's not the same thing as blessing work it's like okay hey let's like dust the cobwebs off and like you know clean things out and like exactly what it sounds like road opening like making it clear and then removing cross conditions which is what a lot of people see as bad luck basically Anyway, neither of which really is, like, negative. I mean, there's certain, there's always exceptions. But generally speaking, nah, it's fine. It's fine. You can do this, like, whenever the hell you want. Um, but then that became an unsustainable pathway. So I decided, fuck it. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to move it over to my Patreon that I had eventually started at that point. It's going to be at the $10 here. And that's, that's it. That's where it is. Because, uh... We're talking about, I'm buying a candle, and I'm going to feed it. And this candle burns for seven days. It's like five to seven days, really. But it's a seven-day candle. Um, so I also am kind of, to like, changed to my house while, while it's burning for the most part. Um, I might, like, step out to get the mail or walk the dog or, you know, go somewhere really quick. But um, I also, look, look, I, I got the fire safety. Just, we're, we're good. We're fine. Um... But that being said, it's like a lot of work to like mind after that stuff and pray and blah, 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 and carve the candle and bling it out because I'm extra. Thanks, Lady Rhea. Shout outs. Um, yeah. So I do that. And then the new moon, which is for the entree. Is it? Oh, yes, I did it right. Fuck yeah. Uh, it's $25 a month. So you get all that stuff that that we just talked about, plus I do like a reading every month for something for you to focus on that has to do with, you know, what the new moon is fucking doing. Um, yeah. And 
there's also some other some other little things. Look, you can go to the Patreon page. Like, I'll link that shit below and you can look at it. Because this video is too fucking long already. I mean, it's not too long for me. I'm fine with it. But, like, maybe you just, you're not ready for all of this. That's okay. I don't know where you heard then. I don't know. So, the whole point of my Patreon is to talk about inspiration and creativity, magic, intuition, and all of that stuff and how it links up. Because there's a lot of weird fucking ideas that people have about artists. What is an artist? What do artists do? What constitutes art? And I'm just like, fuck all that shit. It's horseshit. I am from the country, by the way. I do love horseshit though. It smells like hay. I'm also a gardener. So yeah, and I'm not afraid of getting dirty. That sounds really bad. It really does. Not gonna edit it out. Fuck it. That's cool. Yeah. To anybody watching this, <laughs> nothing like a crash course of my weird ass personality. <sighs> yeah. So, vision. That's what I'm supposed to be talking about, right? The whole thing is, I don't do videos. I actually hate videos. In fact, I really don't like people looking at me. I don't like the attention. It makes me uncomfortable. Um, I am a trauma survivor, and so that's super fun. Yay. Uh, and whenever people look at me, it's like, okay, what do you want? Like, what, 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 what's going on here? Um, and, you know, people are assholes. Like, really. They're not super forthcoming about stuff like that. So I have, like, this major distrust for all humans. It's, it's great. It's fantastic. Yay. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So there you go. This is a way to hang out with me. And if you like my work and maybe it's not your style, but you think it's fucking awesome or you can't afford it because I'm a fancy bitch and you're not <laughs> or you don't want to be or whatever or, you know, it's just not your wallet friendly which is all good this is a way to show me some love and support what i'm doing and say hey you're awesome and get something back right you're yeah it's a thing um i usually pay a little more attention and i do mean a little more attention to what my patrons say and what they ask for um mostly because i'm gonna do business how i want to and i don't really care what anybody else has to say or think like I, I didn't ask you so it doesn't fucking matter which is probably an unpopular opinion oh fucking well so yeah that's it we get to hang out I'm on video I do videos pretty much every fucking day they range from about this long sometimes I think I've got one that's like three minutes long even because it was really quick and I just didn't have a lot to say all the way up to like 45 minutes which those I have paired those down to like 30 some minutes mostly because I haven't to merge two videos like that's the only editing I do is merging the videos so I don't have to do part one part two you will notice if you look through the the archives in the patreon playlist that there are some part one and part twos maybe there are maybe there aren't actually you shouldn't see most of them because most of them are for patrons only so they shouldn't be visible I don't fucking know whatever there, you might find some that those are I couldn't put this together because I didn't know how. Now I have a thing. I'm not going to change the other ones. Fuck it. Just move forward. So, that's it. That's it. Um, get to hang out with me. A uh, quick run through. We do stash casts on Sundays. So, we peek into my stash. Tools. Art. Supplies. Whatever the hell. Um, Mondays is supposed to be Monday Motivation. Which, hint, is usually not motivating. Not, I'm not here to motivate you. I'm actually here to talk about motivation and what it really looks like in practice and what to do when it doesn't show up, like what I'm doing, how I deal with it, or fucking don't, because this and trying to take all the ableist language out of my vocabulary and some of it's still really reflexive. Um, it is ridiculous how much we are obsessed with productivity over in the western world in this little terrible hellscape that i live in called america yeah and um you know and you know i'm not even gonna invite an argument about that like really have you been paying attention it's fucking awful here yay it could be worse 
certainly could be better. But moving on. Tuesdays are halls. Sometimes it's an art hall, business hall, magic hall, intuitive hall. Depends on what I've got to share. Wednesdays are work in progress, which usually I'm always working on something. Thursday is project time. Thursday, in fact, is like the only video you'll see at this point where I don't fucking say anything. You just get to play weirdo voyeur and watch me work on something. And I'm like usually giving you the bird's eye view. Like, so you're seeing what I'm seeing. It's like, it's a, it's a closer than bird's eye because you're not seeing me. You're just seeing my hands move and do whatever the hell. Um, but you get, you get my point of view essentially. And then Friday is finished object Friday. When I finish something Saturday, we've got the studio share. We've got the ask me anything. Um, of course, all of those other monthly ones that I told you about, but, <laughs> but, uh, more importantly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I like to do an intention, a check-in and a review because maybe I don't get the other stuff done. You know, maybe I don't have any motivation. Maybe I don't have a lot of stuff I'm working on and maybe I didn't finish anything this week. Well, this still lets me share something because the reality is when you plan and you make intentions, if you don't check back on them or review them or visit them, they're generally not effective. So it's important to do that. But biggest thing of all, <laughs> drum roll, please, is I am at the intersection of several marginalized identities, which means I get othered for who and what I am. And um, it's super not awesome. But what's important to me about that is that it's really easy to look out in the world and see a very specific view of what's normal, what you see, what's around, um, who you think has access and can do things and to be places. And I like to fly in the face of all that because I think for the most part, exceptions being what they are, um, you can do or be anything like, and I hold to that and look, that's a little idealistic, fine, whatever whatever I didn't ask you <laughs> just I think that I think that's how things should be right if you are blind or vision impaired and you want to be an author I don't see a fucking why why not fuck it right um you know if you want to go into the arts and any any issues that you may have or impediments or things that you have to take into fuck it do it do it because I, I was not encouraged when I was younger. I was actually told that by another artist who I looked up to, talk about a mind fuck, um, that art was a waste of time. But, and then you'd never make any money. And you should just go do something, go do something safe, right? Go, go be a lawyer or a doctor or whatever. Um, the reality is nothing is guaranteed. Everything can change any second. Um, and if the world events have taught you anything, hopefully you realize that our infrastructures are not built for disasters. So you need to have another plan. You need to have a degree of resilience to like get through stuff and have other avenues because sometimes the doors that you're used to using close and then you have to, but you still have to do the thing. So. That's the thing. God, why is this video so fucking long? Anyway, um, I want to be a beacon and remind people that, you know what? You can have depression and still have fun. Uh, you can be anxiety riddled <laughs> and still like have focus and, and have something, you know, to contribute. You can be ADHD and have PTSD <laughs> and all these things and still contribute. And you can contribute in your own way. And it doesn't have to look like this, that, or the other. However, is fine. Um, also, to fly in the face of the gender binary. There's nothing that's masculine or feminine. There's something that's male or female. The, those are social constructs. They're fucking made up, people. Um, and you can be you. Whatever the hell that is. So, I encourage you to let your light shine however it's formed and do you and do the things that matter to you um, and don't let anybody tell you well-meaning or not that you can't fucking do something um, because 
it's probably bullshit. <laughs> there, there's always a way to do something and you just have to find it. So I'm going to go because this is super long and see if I can get this at like 20 minutes exactly. Bye.